my box in box in box in bubble wrap and whatever is into the flat rate box. All I gotta do is get a label together, print it out, and send it down to Florida. Hey viewers, Brad Pryder of Barstool Entertainment doing a broadcast from my office. Um, I'm sending some comics to C CGC and normally it's $22 to have the comics graded and the turnaround time is a hundred and like 109 days had to look that look at it and these comics they're probably the ones i felt out of all my comics that i would have the best chance of getting good value and good how should you say return on investment if i not only had them graded but cleaned and pressed and so in doing that I am spending a lot of money and having them cleaned and pressed also means it's going to be 183 days turnaround, which is six months. And I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm going to take a risk. I mean, out of the comics I'm sending, two I know probably will not be 9.8. Eight, if they're cleaned and pressed. They'll probably be a 9, maybe a 9.2 because they're not in great shape to begin with. But one of them I'm going to keep it in my own personal collection. The other, hopefully I can sell at some point down the road. And a 9.2 even would bring me back a good return on my investment. Now the first comic I'm sending is DC Comic Presents number 87. Now, this is one that I was into collecting all the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossovers and specials and stuff like that. And I bought this a couple decades ago and I've just carried it through like half a dozen moves. And it's the first appearance of Superboy Prime and that is right here if you can see it from the glare superboy prime and he's been a big deal of late and this comic is actually going up in price but in the condition it's in it's probably maybe nine maybe 8.5 like i said it's not in great shape so get it cleaned and pressed some of the defects taken out and maybe it'll come back at, you know, you know, a nine. Maybe it'll come back as a nine. And I'm going to pay for a custom header on the holder because that way it's, like I said, it means something to me. And it's part of my personal collection. I'm a Superman fan. And I actually enjoyed this issue and enjoyed what the whole comic is. So again, I'm going to keep it. Now the next comic is Hero Gasm number one, and I actually bought the series. And oh, I see a little ding there would probably make it not. I'm saying nine point six maybe if it comes back cleaned and pressed. So yeah, I mean. If it comes back 9.6 or better, I'll probably keep it. Otherwise, I'm going to sell it. I couldn't even sell this comic, I think, over a decade ago, nine nine years ago, close to that time, for less than, you know, even at less than cover price. I had went to a local comic book show convention and wound up with putting it in a bundle with the rest of the series and trying to sell it for less than cover price and it wasn't selling but now it's going up in price and it's worth a lot of money if i get a 
six out of it. I'll probably keep it. If it's lower, which I'm worried, then I'll probably try and sell it. And the next comic is Superman Man of Steel number 18. Again, I'm going to be custom header, Superman fan. I got this copy a while back. It's really in great shape. If it comes out 9.6, 9.8 even, I'd be super happy. Don't know if it will be, but it's the first appearance of Doomsday, Doomsday and begins the whole Death of Superman thing. The next one is Spider-Verse number one. It's the Walmart variant. I got it in one of those um, mystery boxes. And it's probably the most valuable comic I've gotten in a mystery box. And the way it looks right now with just a simple cleaning and pressing, sorry, looking away from the camera, but looking at the comic, with just a simple cleaning and pressing, I'm guessing it could be a 9.8. And then the final com comic is Young Avengers presents number six, Hawkeye, when the daughter of Ant-Man takes over as Hawkeye and gets, you know, it's a big deal. And I'm guessing cleaning and pressing, it's another mystery box comic and... Whoever I got the mystery box from said it was like a 9.5, or not 9.5, 8.59.2 around that. So I'm guessing a cleaning and pressing will bring it up to a 9.496, I'm hoping for. And if I send these comics, right now it's September, mid-September, I probably will get them back uh, mid-March, maybe April. And that's five comics to be cleaned and pressed and graded. So I will bundle them together, show you how I bundle them, and eventually I'll send them off. Okay, I have the comics bundled together in the order of the um, packing slip. And I have backing boards on top and below the bundle and taped together using masking tape. It's a least aggressive tape as far as I'm concerned. And the pull tabs. So the next step in bundling them together. And I'll get to that in a, in a moment. Okay, the next step, I put them between two pieces of cardboard and now I have them into a cardboard holder, which I'm going to then tape over and wrap in bubble wrap. I will get that together and show you once I'm done. Okay, I wrapped the bundle of comics and the holder that I taped over in multiple layers of bubble wrap. And I put them in a separate box. And this box, I'm going to fold over and tape up and put into a flat rate medium postal box and print out a label. But I'll put the paperwork on top before I tape everything, before I tape the box together. And then that should be fine for shipping. Okay, my box is taped together. And it's going to go into a priority medium flat rate box and one rate up to about 70 pounds. The box will go in and it'll get shipped to Florida and in six months I will see what happens and see what comes back. There will be a follow up to this video. My box in box in box, in bubble wrap, and whatever is into the flat rate box. All I gotta do is get a label together, print it out, and send it down to Florida. And again, it'll be about six months before I know what really happens and what happens and how the comics come out. Hopefully, they will come out a lot better than I anticipate. 
this is a lot of money and it's very nerve-wracking so uh yeah it's not very fun okay i'm brad proprietor of barstool entertainment doing this putting things together for sending the cgc boxing instead of an unboxing i hope you enjoy the video uh if you like the video hit a like button if you want to leave comments please do i do my best to respond to them i thank everyone who has watched the video watched my other videos and enjoyed them this is a little different than what i'm doing i normally do video game videos i like to break things up a little bit and if i get this put together um it should be in a few days from my recording it if you like video game videos hit the subscribe button i post four a day or four a week and you know they get fed to your home screen and don't forget to hit the bell icon and you'll be notified Thank you everyone again for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and thank you for stopping by.